Well, good afternoon. Today is <clears throat> Monday, September 23rd, and we have two birthdays. Today is Nina. The name of her channel is Billy Norse. So, Nina, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nina. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. It's also Kathy Colburn's birthday. So, Kathy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday dear Kathy. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Well, I hope you both have a great, great birthday today. Um, I didn't walk this morning because when I woke up, it was like raining. It was not like pouring rain, but it was raining, just sprinkling. We needed it. It rained most of the night. It actually was supposed to start raining last night about 8 or 9 o'clock, and it really started about 3. But it wasn't like a rain, if you know what I mean. It was just kind of kind of dripping, kind of dripping down. But um, I did weigh myself this morning. And let me show you how I did. I won't lie. I was a little disappointed. <laughs> I really That had nothing to do with me not walking, though, because uh, it was just the weather kind of kept me from walking today. Uh, it's going to be a busy week this week, so I don't know how much walking I'm actually going to get in. But anyway, we'll get back to that in a minute. I did have a 0 .3 gain, but I still have a loss of 42.9. Um... I was, I'll admit, I'll admit, I was disappointed. I really was. I was hoping to lose at least a pound. One point, I was hoping for 1.3, I think it was. I think it was 1.3 or 1.2. No, 1.1. I was hoping for 1.1, so that would get me into the next set of digits down. And I really thought that I did really well this week. I had a blue dot every single day. But what it proved to me is, though, even though I had blue dots, I'm not one to be able to eat my weeklies and uh, I did have a heavy weekend with the Panera I went over my points I went over my points with the piece of cake on Friday for the uh, uh, birthday dinner and the celebration that I'm going to be a grandma again so um, I I had too many points on two days Friday and Saturday so that could be a, a, com a accumulation, accumulation of why I gained point three today um, it's not detracting me from you know like I'm disappointed. I'm not going to be lying. I am disappointed. But I'm not discouraged because I had a over three pound loss last week. So I had a really good loss last week. And I know that I did really well. And uh, other than the um, kind of splurging with the Panera and the Starbucks on Saturday, the piece of cake and the lasagna really wasn't that bad for me on Friday. So um, I'm just moving forward. The next week I'm going to have a better, this week coming up I'm going to have a better week. And uh, I'll have a good long. I'll get into my next set of digits next week. Because I still have 42.9 pounds off. That's nothing to shake a stick at. I'm really proud of that accomplishment. So um, I, I, I'm i just going to move on from there. I, um, I won't be able to walk Wednesday because I have to bring Mary downtown for her um, all of her results and that and putting her on a list. And then Thursday... Uh, Denise is having a hysterectomy, so I have to bring her down early again for that, so I won't be able to, I might be able to walk around in the hospital, because I did that when I brought Jim, uh, while she's in surgery, I, maybe I'll just walk around the uh, area there, because usually at uh, where she's going, they have a TV screen that lists where they're at, like whether they're in pre-op or in the surgery or all that stuff, so you can kind of keep track of their surgery, so I'll probably walk around with that. And then Friday morning, I have an appointment with the dermatologist to check out this stuff on my face to find out what's going on with that. So uh, I um, I am not one to walk later in the day. I know I can always. I know I can walk later in the day. I know that. I know that for a hundred percent. I know I can walk later in the day. I just don't. I don't know why. It's. I I, I like to start my day off with a purpose. I guess I don't know. And uh, it, it just isn't going to happen this week. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to stay on track and track my food and all of that. Because I do have plans on that. Uh, I'm not going to be showing you my food today. <laughs> because um, <clears throat> there's one pill that I take for um, my thyroid, my parathyroid. I have to take it with food. And um, when I take my other medications in the morning, I take them when I first get up. And I usually take them about 10 o'clock in the morning, and then I don't eat my first meal till like 1, 1.30, sometimes 2 o'clock. 
And so um, I always waited to take the thyroid pill until 2 o'clock when I had my meal and took my other pills. So this morning when I got up at 10 o'clock, I thought, you know what, I think I'm just going to take all my pills together and I'll just eat a banana with it and have a little glass of juice. So that's what I did. I had a banana and a glass of juice. I took all my pills together and uh, for some reason it just, <laughs> it. Um, one of the side effects is like nausea and uh, diarrhea. Is one of the, they said one of them, which I've never had any of the side effects from that. But it said that it could interact with other drugs. But I'm thinking the doctor had a whole list of all my drugs. Not interact like in a bad way, but um, it interacted today that my stomach is just like, like I, I'm aware I have a stomach today. I'm not sick, but I know I have a stomach. And so I've been drinking ginger ale <laughs> because Verner's is the cure-all in Michigan. Verner's ginger ale. If you're sick, they give you Verner's. That was the only time when I was little that, you know, my mother would give us pop. That Because uh, we always had... my. When my mother would go shopping, she'd buy one bottle of, like, Pepsi-Cola and put it in the refrigerator for my dad's dinner. That's all he ever wanted for dinner was a bottle of Pepsi-Cola. So every day there was, like, one bottle of Pepsi-Cola in the refrigerator. Very rarely did we have pop when we were growing up, unless we were sick, and then we got Werner's ginger ale. So, um, and then we never thought of it as pop. We just thought of it as medicine because it really does do the trick, and it really is settling my stomach down, but... I'm going to be eating very light today, so I'm not going to show you what I'm eating today. But I trust me, it has nothing to do with the 0 0.3 gain. It really, it truly doesn't. It's just, now I know that I have to take out my pills and then wait until I actually eat a full meal to take the other pill. Because it does say not to take it on an empty stomach. And maybe a banana just wasn't enough, you know, in the juice. Maybe I really needed a full meal to kind of absorb all of the side effects from the pills or whatever it was. But, oh, I got a... And I got my mail today. I did get a. I got another card. Let me see if I can get it out of the envelope here. I'm just going to take it out before it came to my house, so I can't show you the envelope. But it's so pretty. Look how pretty it is. It says a special birthday wish for you. Wishing you every happiness for today and all year through. Happy birthday, love, Carolyn Sly. I hope you have the best birthday ever. Yes, I have so far, you know, my birthday month. And it says, the true light which lightens everyone was coming into the world. John 1, 1 9. So, um, thank you, Carolyn. That was very nice of you. Like I said, I celebrate my birthday all month long. So, I'll, I'll gladly take a card whenever. So, uh, I know, sew a needle and thread. I um, just kind of, kind of laying around. I watched last night Matlock, the new Matlock with Kathy Bates. I, I liked it. It was kind of cheesy at first. I'm thinking, oh, this is kind of cheesy. But uh, by the end of it, I kind of liked it. I really did. And then I watched Surf Rescue 911 or something like that. Nah. It was too, too young for me, I guess. I guess I got to be the age where... I don't know. It's just everything. I, all of these shows, like all these 911 shows and cop shows and everything, which what I find very phony about them is they're together, unless they're sleeping, they're, they're together constantly. They're, you know, like they're on the beach the whole day doing their lifeguard thing, and then they're done and they're sitting on the beach drinking beer, talking together and partying. It's just... Or like even like cop shows, like they, they're all together and then they go to the bar and they're all together in the bar, which I know that happens. When I worked, we'd get together, but like maybe once a week, not like they seem to do it every single time. And then I know they're hooking up and all that, you know, with their opposite sex. I'm, I'm content with my life right now. I don't need to be seeking out love. So anyway, um, but that's going to do it for now. Like I said, I'm just... My my stomach is just a little kind of let me know this there. I always like when you have like a toothache, you never know you had a tooth until that tooth aches. Then you're like, oh my God, I got a toothache or an earache or, you know, like a headache or anything like that. You don't really pay attention to it until something's bothering you. And then all of a sudden you're made aware. <laughs> so, um, but I'd, like I said, a 0.3 gain. Should have went to the bathroom, got back on the scale. It would have been probably taken off, but... It is what it is, so let's move on, put it in the past, we'll see how I do next week. 
In the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, and share, and let's talk again tomorrow. Hopefully I see you then.